Archive Attender 4 improves on previous Archive Attender versions by introducing a more flexible interface as well as completely new application architecture designed to strengthen the stability and scalability of the product. Archive Attender's console navigation pane has been redesigned to improve usability by logically grouping options together. We've also renamed several features to make them more relevant and understandable. Licensing and configuration tasks are now grouped under the configuration link. The former dummy users are now called legacy users. Auto aging policies are now referred to as stub aging and user search views are now delegated searches. The enhancements to console's layout and design go beyond simple reorganizing and renaming, however. Historically, Archive Attender required each user to be signed to one and only one particular group a design that was simple but also rather limiting. In Archive Attender 4, groups have been replaced by views and users can now be included in multiple views simultaneously. This makes for greater flexibility in enforcing policies and managing large numbers of users. Archive Attender 4 also introduces a whole new modular architecture to the product. Just like previous versions, there's still an administrative console where all management and configuration tasks are performed. Behind the scenes, though, we've divided the processing into separate services in order to remove bottlenecks as the number of users, amount of archive data, and volume of retrieval requests grow. To start with, we've replaced the old XML file structure with a Microsoft SQL database that stores information about users, policies, and other configuration settings. Archive Attender 4 also introduces an entirely new component, the Hub Service. The hub service serves as a central data conduit coordinating all exchanges between the console, the SQL database, and the other archive attender processes. An exchange service handles all data transfer to or from the exchange mailboxes. A dedicated archive service manages and updates all archive storage locations. For customers with distributed environments, such as Exchange servers in multiple locations, an Exchange and Archive service can be installed at each location. These services communicate directly during a policy run to minimize network traffic. As in previous versions, a web service component provides integration between the Outlook end users and the archives. This permits users to view or search archive messages without installing any additional software on their desktops. Archive Attender 4 also features tighter integration with the Active Directory. Domain servers may be defined in the product and mailboxes assigned to that domain may be marked for automatic update in order to keep Archive Attender in sync with any changes made to the Active Directory. Particularly, if you have a large number of users, you'll appreciate not having to maintain those relationships manually. The end user search view to archive messages has been completely redesigned. Rather than launching in Outlook, this view will now launch in a web browser and provides both folder and message level information on one concise screen. Users can search their entire archive, specific folders, preview of message, or view a copy of the message from the archive location. Delegated searches, formerly known as user search views, have also been updated to work like the user search. Individual members of the search view are clearly listed on the left, making it easy for a manager to determine which employee's data they are viewing or searching in the archive. To learn more about how Sherpa Software's Archive Attender Utility can help you manage your exchange environment, just contact one of our customer support professionals. Thanks for watching.